Welcome to a special edition of the Addiction Connection podcast. It's September, which is National Recovery Month. But if you're an addictions biblical counselor, it's National Transformation Month. Because remember, Romans 12, 2 says, do not be conformed to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. What you're going to hear is a testimony we recorded at this year's annual summit event in Cincinnati, Ohio. Volunteers were willing to come into our studio and share their life story of their life before Christ and their life after Christ. That's the hope of the gospel, is that we are sinners in need of rescue by a Savior who was perfect in God's eyes and satisfied God's wrath. Jesus did that on the cross. He died. He was buried, raised from death to life. And now he lives and he's seated at the right hand of the Father. And he's paid for our sins. So that's why it's important that we consider addiction as a sinful heart desire problem. Because Jesus solved that problem. Enjoy this testimony now of God's faithfulness and amazing power to transform the human heart from sinner into someone who wears the robe of Christ's righteousness. So I'm here with Andrew Hell, and he is the director now? Uh, College director and addictions biblical counselor. Okay, at Salem for Youth, and he's going to share with us today just a portion of God's transformation in his own life. Yeah, so I was adopted at a a very young age, and so lived with my adopted family. And uh, because of abuse and sin, I I don't want to blame abuse, but because of sin in my own heart, uh, at a young age of 13, 14, um, started smoking weed, and that led to other drugs uh, like cocaine and... um, MDMA, Molly, and uh, I lived in Florida at the time, so those drugs were very accessible. And so at a very young teenage age, I got addicted to drugs, moved out early, um, and led a life of of violence, of selling drugs, doing drugs. I joined the Marine Corps um, when I was 18 in hopes that that would save me, that was going to be the the fix. Uh, and in the Marine Corps, I learned lots of discipline. I learned about um, all sorts of good values, um, but I also learned to drink. Um, yeah. And in that time, I picked up a, a drinking habit as well. And uh, during that time, there was a, an Osprey crash of, of our uh, platoon that killed our weapons platoon, a lot of Marines in there. And so I struggled with that. And so um, because of that, I used it as another excuse to dive more into addiction yeah. and, and use and just really came out of that more broken. Um, so the broken relationships at home, the broken uh, relationships and loss of life in the Marine Corps, I really dove into um, drugs and alcohol and, and a life of violence um, and continued that all the way up to the age of about 27 um, but I attribute, um, you know, God changing my life to along that way, mm-hmm. uh, my parents, we went to church on Sunday, Sunday evening, Wednesdays, and there was old men and young men that poured into my life yeah. um, and shared the gospel with me so that through all that is tragedies, all those addictions and all these uh, poor life choices that um, after a night of of terrible drinking in a bar and, and, and taking pills and, and just trashing my apartment. Uh, my girlfriend at the time had had enough. She, she was tired of me fighting and getting in trouble. Um, and she said she was gonna leave. And for some reason, uh, something clicked. And I said, don't leave, hmm. we're gonna follow Jesus. So wow. here I was for many years just living a, a rebellious life of just addiction and violence and broken relationships. And this one incident um, of, of her saying that uh, 
God opened up my... He gripped you right then. He gripped me right then. Yeah. And I said, we're going to follow Jesus. And so she didn't know anything about Jesus yeah. at the time, but she said, whatever is going to cure this crazy guy, Amen. I'm all for it. And yeah. so that next, that very almost next day was a Sunday. I went right to the local church. Mm. It was right across the street from where we were living. And I told them, I'm here to serve Jesus mm. and I'm here to serve the church. And, uh, and it was right then, it was, and that was from the gospel being preached to me as a young man, yeah. uh, that I heard that gospel, but I responded to that gospel message. Um, so no one shared the gospel with me the, right. you know, that night or yeah. anything. You it was, knew. I knew you it. Knew. It was from men who and poured that's into what, my and Her saying what she said, just in that moment, God clicked and, and God yeah. grabbed a hold of you and, and then you submitted basically then to his, to his view. Yes, sir. Yeah, and she gave her life to Christ uh, two weeks later, and then we got married, and then um, we've now been in youth ministry for 15 years, mm -hmm. married for 15 years, and we have three kids and one grandchild. So God radically transformed my life. That's amazing. Well, thank you, Andrew. And um, yeah, I'm glad to have you part of the team. So, yeah. Thanks. Thanks for tuning in to this podcast. And remember, God is still in the business of transforming lives. Take care and God bless.